The next restore option we have is called Find Files. So from the main retrospect window we click on Find Files on the left, and we choose our backup set, we click OK, we select where we want to put the files, the default option is the Retrieve Files and Folders, although we have the other restore options available to us. We're going to use the default. We're going to click OK. Now Retrospect brings up a window that allows us to type in specific search criteria. So if we want to look for a specific folder name or a specific file name, we have that ability. So if I do a find for files that end, file name does end with .dll, and click OK, it will do a search, and it will search the entire backup set, no matter how many backup sessions I have, and no matter how many snapshots I've taken. It's going to search the entirety of the backup set for any file that ends in .dll. And so when I expand this window, the restore window, by control clicking on the minus sign over here, it shows me all of the files that end in that file extension. That gives me the ability to restore for a specific file that I may have lost, or look for a file of a specific type that I need to access. One of the nice advantages of the Find Files option is that if a file is modified three times and I have three separate backups of it, I can do a search for that file name and Retrospect will display inside the Files Chosen window all three versions of that file. So if a file has been backed up, like I said, three times, it will show me all three versions. And so that can be a very handy thing. And so you can see here, in this case, I actually have done two backups of this particular data. So Retrospect shows me both versions of the file. And then it shows me the date and time that it was backed up so that I can choose which version I want to recover. If I close this window, I also have some other options available to me when I do this find. And that is only most recent versions find only the most recent recent versions of a file. So if a file was backed up 15 times because it's changed frequently over the lifespan of this backup set, I can do a search for the most recent version and filter out older versions of those files. Another option that's available to you is you can go to Sources when you do a rest the Restore through Find Files. And if you don't know what backup set the file came from, you can actually choose all of the backup sets that are available in your list. So we click OK here and now Retrospect will search all of the backup sets. That way we have the ability to search much older backups or backups of older dates. So let's look at that a little bit differently. We're going to cancel this. We're going to go to Find Files and I can highlight just by clicking and dragging all of the backup sets that are in my list. I click OK. I choose where I want to put them. I click OK and then I type in my search criteria. Now if I don't want to type in a specific file name, a, tr a, t a little trick I can use is I can leave the search criteria blank. And Retrospect will look for anything whose name matches anything. And when I click OK, it's actually going to do a search for every single file and every single folder that I've ever backed up. It will allow me to scroll through all of that by going to Files Chosen. Now, if you've been backing up a million files, you don't necessarily want to do a search for anything because it's going to be a very long list to scroll through. No one wants to scroll through a list of a million files. But it can be useful if your backup sets are small and you don't know necessarily what folder a file came from or you're not exactly sure of the file name. Well, you can do a search for anything. If we look over here on the selecting, just by leaving the search criteria blank.